Hi, everybody. What's going on? This is Dr. Jace, and welcome to week number seven. That is right, week number seven of your summer 2020 7305 class, which is Foundations of Library and Information Science. Uh, I'm going to keep this quick. I know I say that all the time, but again, this one will be quick. This one, I promise, will be under 10 minutes because the main point that I'm going to make this time is email me with questions. Okay, so, um, and let me tell you why I am saying that. So, first of all, I do want to say you guys are almost at the end. You did it. You've only got two weeks left. It's an eight-week course. We're on week seven. You did it. You did it. You did it. You did it. You're almost there. And really, the final assignment, assignment number six, is a pretty easy assignment, okay? So once you get through assignment five, you are going to be sitting pretty, but you gotta get through assignment five. And assignment five is a headache, okay? So really pretty much what I'm gonna be telling you this week in this check-in video is I will be checking email and the question board very closely this week. And if you all have questions about assignment number five, if possible, you might want to ask me before the weekend. I'm going to be around this weekend. I know I wasn't around last weekend. I wound up uh, out of state taking care of a few things. But uh, this weekend, I will be around. But you might want to get your questions in before the weekend. Definitely don't wait till Sunday to try to tackle this assignment, but I do want to just say a couple things about it, and then I am just going to say when you have questions, ask me. Don't be shy, because this is not any easy assignment to wrap your head around. Okay, so this critical essay, um, yeah, this uh, methods critical essay assignment that you have to do, for one thing, yeah, it's got a lot a lot, a lot of instructions. However, the instructions really do, even though these instructions are long, in fact, it's nine pages of instructions for a 1,000 word uh, critical essay, which is kind of crazy. But what I will say is what I'm really trying, again, what I'm trying to do is make sure that you can identify important components of a research paper. And so there are, as you read through this, you'll see that there are two ways to approach the assignment. And to be honest, I think that method number two, um, which you will, oh, actually, no, I'm sorry. Uh, it's actually method number one. If you look at example paper number one, which is an example paper that deals with just one article, and somebody finding the various elements being asked for here for one article. This, I believe, is the most straightforward way to go and it's the easiest way to go because then all you have to do is find your article, read over your article, digest and understand the article, but then you see all the fields that you need to fill out here in the example. And so basically you find you know, you find your scope and limitations, and this is just beautifully done. Um, scope and limitations are identified steps to the essay, method, body. Um, kind of have like a little outline with the body here, results, conclusion. All of these things are things that you need to be able to find out very quickly in a scientific study if you're reviewing one, okay? And so this gives you the opportunity to put those skills to the test. Okay, I'm looking for the purpose. What's the purpose? Find it in the article, you present it here. And the same with all these other criteria, okay? Um, so again, I recommend the method used in example number one. Now, you can also take the, uh, the approach in example number two, and the approach in example number two is actually more consistent with the spirit of the assignment and the way the directions are written up than the example number one. Um, 
if you do it the second way, uh, well, the second way, if you do it like it's done in example number two, as you can see, it's not just one article being referenced or used here. Uh, other articles make their way into the analysis of the critical uh, research and methods. So this way, again, is a little more on, it's a little more consistent with the overall spirit of the article, but the, I mean, the overall spirit of the assignment, but the reason I wanted to give you these example papers and let you know that example one was a possible way to approach it is because, and I've also, I also modified the assignment to an extent to reflect this. Um, again, if you are in a situation where you're just working with one article, and dissecting and finding the different pieces and components of one article as opposed to trying to approach what's basically a theme in example number two, then this assignment will go a lot smoother and easier for you, I believe, if you go with the first assignment. And you really could just kind of like, you could download this example number one and just clear out the information about the Dropniki, I think is how you pronounce it, the Dropniki article. And you can replace that information with the information from your own article. And so then it becomes basically an exercise, again, of filling in fields, which you're going to be doing a lot in library practice, especially if you're a cataloger, but also if you're an archivist or a public services librarian. So be prepared for that. And again, this is something, do not wait till Sunday to look at this, uh, these directions, please. Please look at these directions before Sunday. Start trying to do a little bit of it before Sunday and ask me questions as appropriate, okay? All right, uh, very well, very good. Um, I, again, am enjoying this class and enjoying having you all in it. And the summer's short, short and sweet, and I wish I had you all longer, but you all have been an excellent class, and I've definitely enjoyed you. Okay, I will see you next week for a final uh, check-in video, which will be a closeout video. And from there, hopefully you will all be getting A's, maybe a few will be getting B's, but you're, for the most part, going to be getting good grades and you're going to go on to be successful in this program overall. So that's my time. I'm Dr. J's Peace and Grace. I'm out. Later.